Hey folks, Bishop here, Do It Then Outdoors. Today we're gonna conclude our saddle hunt rope series with part five, where we put together our tether, our lineman's belt, and our rappel rope. So if you wanna recap, part one was where we cut and sealed the ends of our rope. Part two, we went into some very important loop knots and stomper knots. And then we moved on to part three, where we discussed five friction hitches, the Prusik, the Swabish, the Knut, the Distal, and the Mishwokan knots. Then we moved on to part four where I made a custom friction hitch tender to allow you to use one hand to tighten your rope. We did that using 550 cord. And now we're concluding here with part five where we're just putting it all together and showing you how to use it. So stay tuned, we've got some good footage and some good information ahead. All right, so in this part of the video, I'm gonna show you how I put together my lineman's belt. If you can see, I have two carabiners. You can use one if you wanna attach it directly to your saddle, but I'm gonna use two this year. I've got three and a half to four feet of Sterling TRC. This is six millimeter Sterling TRC. I would say probably go closer to four feet so you have enough for tag ends, um, for stopper knots on your tag ends. I've got the custom friction hitch tender that I made in video four. So check that out. And now I have about 11 feet of sterling oplux, eight millimeter sterling oplux. Uh, 11 feet is going to give me about um, an eight foot rope after the stopper knots and everything. So I'm just going to take the, this end here and I'm going to tie a poacher's knot. Relatively simple. You know, the knot videos are uh, in a video uh, two. So, you know, you could see see that that's a poacher's knot, but what I like to do is I like to go ahead and put my double overhand stopper knot in the end just so I don't mess myself up and have um, not have enough slack. So I'm going to go on ahead and get a stopper knot here, and then I'm going to tie a poacher's knot and just make sure that the poacher's knot is big enough to, uh, to hold that, to get that stopper that, through there. So there's uh, one wrap and two and get it through this hole and start snugging it up. So there we go. We have stopper knot and a poacher's knot. So now I'm gonna lay that aside and, and do the same thing to both ends of my friction hitch rope. So I'm going to throw a stopper knot in this end, double overhand, and then I'm going to put a stopper knot in this end, another double overhand, and then we're going with the, uh, the poachers again. So wrap around twice there, but make sure you got enough slack to get your stopper knot through. Like so. Snug that up. Same thing on this side. Another another double over, uh, another poacher's knot. Get that through just like that. And snug that up. Now I'm gonna give myself some slack for the carabiner. All right, going back to the eight millimeter, I'm going to put on my hitch tender, and then I'm gonna tie a barrel knot in the very end. So remember that's like a double overhand, except you're going around three times instead of two. So there's my barrel. And then I'm going to go with the, uh, I decided, you know, to go with a swabish, a swabish. So we got similar from the video, the friction hitch video. I've got uh, four loops here. I need to give myself some slack though. I'm going to go down and come around and try to get all of that through there. It'll, it'll, 
it'll we'll get some more space when we go outside and tighten this thing up. It'll give us some more slack. That's what I tried to say. So, what do I have? Again, double overhand stopper knot with the poachers. 11 feet of uh, eight millimeter Starling TRC. Two carabiners. I got uh, this uh, six millimeter uh, Sterling TRC. And I can just go ahead and show you kind of what we're gonna do. We're gonna go out here and put this on and also put this on with the friction hitch. And we're gonna kind of like get around a tree and tighten it up and straighten everything up. Make sure we like the way it, it looks. So, um, and, and stay tuned. Uh, like I said, let me go through it one more time. You know, uh, poacher's knot, double overhand stopper. On this side, barrel knot, I've got two poacher's knots on each end with double overhand stoppers, and I'm running a swabish. And this is the friction hitch tender. I'm gonna go outside and, and get this thing wrapped around a, a, a tree or a post or something to show you how it's gonna work. All right, so remember, this is the uh, lineman's belt. Got two carabiners. Got our poacher's knot with our double overhand stopper. So I like to do this on a tree. Notice I am at ground level. Um, what I'm gonna do is wrap the rope around a tree on this side, get it over here close to my lineman's belt so I can see. See, I like my carabiner to be facing outward. So I'm going to clip this so that everything is facing outward for me which i like that i like my knots facing outward i like my carabiner facing outward so i am good to go on this side and i'm gonna snug it up really tight kind of give it some slack from here and snug it up now we'll move over to the right side all right so now that we're on the right side i'm just gonna tighten up my hitch to give me some uh to get me kind of taut and this is where I really want to make sure I have everything kind of lined up. So I might have to undo this a couple times. You know, like I said, I want, I want my carabiner to be facing out. So I know I want to go through one of my legs, then my hitch, and then another leg. So I'm going to try it this way. I'm going to go through that, that bottom leg first. And this is just me, I like it like this. Then I'm going through my friction hitch, tender, sorry, my hitch tender. Then I'm going through the top leg. I'm gonna twist this around and then clip on here. So going again a little bit slower now that we figured out how do we wanna do it. I'm going through my bottom leg on my hitch. Then I'm going through my tender. Then I'm going through my top leg on my hitch. Wrap that around and hook her up. And as you can see, one hand to tighten, one hand to loose. Easy peasy. All right. And give it a tug and just kind of lean back in it and tighten everything up. And I'm going to check it out to see. And like I told you in there, you see my slack? You see how it's, I got, I got a lot more space. So if I want to loosen up, I just grab it and pull ever so slightly. Just like using a rope man. Pull it up to tight. Get it really tight. Check everything out. I think I like the way this looks. I'm trying to think if I want the hitch on the bottom maybe. And I may. So let's just say I wanted this friction hitch on the uh, underneath. The best thing for me to do would just be untie my stopper knot if I wanted to do so. Pull it out. Push this underneath. Run it back through. See, I was a little crooked, so I'll take it again and go back through one more time. And like I said, I'm just playing around. See what I like. 
Do I like it like that? You know, maybe so. So I think I decided I do like it better on top. So same thing again, no big, no big deal. Just pull it through. Run through there. Give you, loosen it up a little bit. Tighten it up. I kind of like the way that is. So I will uh, make my barrel knot again. And you can actually put this slack into your belt here. And there you go. You know, get back in it. Really tighten it up. See if you can break the knot. You can. Very easy to use. Very, very easy. So there is my Lyman's belt. All right, let's cover the tether. So on the tether, I got one carabiner. I've got 11 feet of the L eight millimeter Sterling Oplux. Um, similar to the Lyman's belt, I've got a barrel knot for a stopper in one end. I've added a friction hitch tender and I've got a Swabish friction hitch with a poacher's knot and stop, uh, double overhand stoppers. So poacher's knot, double overhand stopper. There's the uh, Swabish. I've added a Celtic button so I can slide up and down the rope and hold it onto the tree. This is in video two on how I hold uh, tie this. I don't want to take it off because it's it's sealed on pretty good. So there's a Celtic button on this eight millimeter Oplux. On um, the only real difference is uh, you know on this end we've got a double overhand, and then I'm going to tie a uh, a uh, figure eight on a bike to give myself um, a loop to put around the tree. So do my figure eight on a bite, snug it up real good, gives myself a loop that this goes on, and we'll go outside and I'll show you how to put it together. All right, so this is our tether. Um, remember we had the uh, figure eight on a bite with our Celtic button. So for the first time of using this, I'm gonna just wrap it around the tree and feed everything through our loop here. And you'll be to actually see what this Celtic button's used for. So I'm going to get it up in the tree and use that Celtic button, see, to hold it there. Now I'm going to get in here and again figure out how I want this thing to sit. Now I know I like my carabiner to be facing me, the opening. So again, I'm gonna try to go with, I'm gonna try again the bottom leg first. Then I'm gonna try the friction hitch tender. Then I'm gonna go with the top leg and see how this, how this looks. Don't, don't worry if you have to change it. Not a huge deal. Tighten us up. Sit down into it. I really like that. Just, I like to make sure my knots are out of the way. Everything's looking good here. So give it some slack. Sit down into it. Make sure I can tighten it up. And I can. One thing I did notice is I, I think I want my hitch on this side of the rope. So how can I make that happen? I'm gonna just come to the end, take off my stopper, cause this is just the easiest piece for me to do right now. I'm gonna go out of here and move this over to where I want it. About like that. And I'm going to go through. See if I like this better. And I do. I like that because it's kind of out of the way. And I'll tie my barrel. Back into here. 
and I'll just kind of sit down and put all my way. Make sure it's really tight. And you can see I probably need to t tighten my Celtic button more, but it's really just to get to get that up there to hold it. So there's the, my, uh, that's the custom tether. Barrel knot, hitch tender, got a Swabish on four feet of six millimeter Sterling TRC with two poacher's knots and, and uh, double overhand stoppers. Up here we have the figure eight on a bite with a Celtic button and a uh, double overhand stopper there. Easy, works very well. So the last item I make is the rappel rope. And it's basically the same as a huge tether. It's uh, 30 foot of sterling Oplux, eight millimeter sterling Oplux. On this side, at the very end, I've got a oval ring. Make sure it's climbing rated. It's tied on with a poacher's knot and a barrel knot. Going down through, uh, I've got a 550 cord Celtic button to hold this thing slide up and down and hold it on the tree. Not sure if this is gonna work. I'm just using it as a test. I think I'm gonna have to end up going either with the six millimeter Sterling TRC, or I'm gonna have to make a Celtic button out of this five and a half millimeter Kevlar, Bill Kevlar, five and a half millimeter Bill Kevlar. So moving on though, I've got, like I said, barrel knot tied to a uh, oval with a poachers, 30 feet of rope, you can add more. Put you a Celtic button on there if you want one to hold it on the tree. Uh, here I use either eight millimeter Sterling TRC or use this five and a half millimeter Bill Kevlar. It's a same deal, it's a Swabish. Um, probably gonna take some slack out of this cause it's pretty long, but I'm just playing around with it. Uh, and then we're gonna have a custom friction hitch tender, which I have here. Uh, and then, you know, you can put a stopper knot in the other end, depending on how high you are or whatever. But I'll go out right now and show y'all how I'm going to, like, put all this stuff together and how I use it a little bit. So, for my rappel rope, it's 30 feet of 8 millimeter sterling Oplux. This is the same as the tether. Just imagine this is one humongous tether. Uh, instead of having the figure eight on a bike, I'm using this oval link. So I can just easily come around the tree and attach it and tighten it up. So you don't have to run all that rope through there. So let's pretend, and I've also got a, a 550 Celtic knot that I'm just playing around with. I'm probably gonna have to get a bigger, probably gonna have to get a bigger knot. But uh, yeah, this thing acts just like, exactly like my tether. And I'll show you the only thing difference that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna tie this into my tether. I can use this as a tether. It is a tether. It's the same as my tether, except it's 30 something feet long. So if I was getting ready to come down, just to be safe, I would hook up my um, lineman's belt. And like I said, this rappel rope is like one giant tether. I would lean back in it and then I would grab my climbing device, which I'm using a Petzl Reverso. I'd give myself some slack here and get hooked up. And you can find plenty of videos on how to use the reverse up. And I would hook it to my bridge. Like so. And then I would untie, un I'm gonna unhook my Swabish hitch and hook it here too my lineman's belt loop 
then you can undo your lineman's belt. And let's say I'm here and I want to, to repel, all I gotta use is my fingers. Just give myself a little bit of slack to repel down just like that. See how I stop myself? Just by just letting go. I'll show you one more time. Get this way up. So I wanna have it here and I just wanna repel slowly. See how you can stop. Easy peasy, repelling down. And that I like because it's uh, it gives you a good backup. And that's uh, basically how I hook all of these up and how I use them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this saddle hunting series. We covered a lot of good stuff. If you did like it, please smash that like button. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, from the boys that do it then outdoors, safe hunting. Do it then.